It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. A beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this neighborhood. A neighborly day for a beauty. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. I've always wanted to live in a neighborhood with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, we might as well say, Would you be mine? Would you be mine? My neighbor, won't you please? Won't you please? Please, won't you be? My neighbor. Hi, neighbors. Well, we must have a visitor. Let's see who it is. Well, it's Mail Lady Jessie. Hi, Fred. Well, hello, Jessie. How are you today? Is it okay that I just came in yes. without being invited? Want you to be my neighbor? I would love to be your neighbor. Fred, I have some mail for you and a very special delivery that I was told to bring right away. Wow, it's a book. You see that? It's a book. Would you like to read it with me to the children? I would love to. Well, come on in, Jessie. Okay, so what are we reading, Mr. Rogers? This is called, am I, am I cramping you? No. Okay, this is called, can you see it? Spank the monkey lends a hand. It sounds like a real good book, Fred. A real gripper. Okay, <clears throat> this is for Dustin. That's who must have sent it. I'll bet it was Dustin. The librarian gave it to me to bring right over. Oh goodness, well she's a very good friend of mine. Okay, speak the monkey lens a hand. Here we go. Can, you, can everybody see it? I can think so. Closer? No, okay. I think that's great. If you find yourself alone with much to think about, call Spank the monkey. He'll come by and help you work things out. <laughs> That's nice. There's a lady out here. Do you see that? She's real nice. Looks and he's very helpful. She should have a cover up on. Well, maybe, but he's very helpful. Just the other day, while walking on the farm, Spank the monkey stopped to look in Farmer Johnson's barn. <laughs> okay. The air in there was warm. It smelt of salt and sweat and lotion. Way back in the corner was a constant steady motion. I don't see any motion here on the picture. I don't... That might be a good thing. Yeah. I, anywho, kids, use your imagination. That's what this is all about. The farmer's arm was moving fast. His hands, they looked so worn. Spank the monkey stepped right up and helped him shuck his corn. Hmm, good old Spank. Spank likes to visit Grandpa, who loves his magazines. <laughs> he has the first one and the last and all the in-betweens. He flips right through the articles until his fingers blister. What he really likes to do is look at all the pictures. Grandpa. Mm, pictures. Who's that? 
When Grandpa gets excited and messes up an issue, Spank is there to save the day with a box of tissues. Well, that's very nice of Spank. He must have spilled milk. <laughs> he must have. Some creamy white substance. <laughs> Benny has a job making sauce for pizza pies. As he cooks, he likes to watch the waitresses go by. Mm. Benny grabs his hard salami and he hides it from the boss. Oh, Benny. Now, boys and girls, it's not good to steal, just so you know. Benny, Benny's putting his salami. I don't know. Then he goes into the pantry to make some secret sauce. See, he wasn't stealing. Oh. I was judging too I quickly. I think he's making an Alfredo sauce. Well, that's very nice of Benny. And he's I'm having... never eating Alfredo sauce on pizza again. He's got a nice smile. Benny makes a lot of sauce. He whips it up by hand. Spank has seen the waitresses, so he can understand. But they like to eat pizza. <laughs> Spank the monkey takes his car to the quick lube service station. They let him fill his jar up there when he's out of lubrication. Well, that's a really nice car place. Very, very nice. I would go there. You probably do. <laughs> I've read things about you, Mr. Rogers. You have not. <laughs> From underneath the car on Jack's comes some grunting and a moan. That dirty old mechanic Max was down there all alone. Mm -hmm. Max's hands were greasy, his eyes were squinted shut. Spank was there to lube his tool and help him bust that nut. There we go, Spank helping again. That's nice. That's really nice, Spank. See, he broke it so it all flows out. It's nice. It's not nice to break it. Oh, got it. Yeah. You know. You may have heard it said that Spank only helps the guys. Please don't cloud your head with all those silly lies. Spank the monkey actually help, actually likes girls more than boys. Every girl that he knows has a nightstand full of toys. So Spank, Just, Spank will help you bust a nut. That's nice. And what about you, Jessie? <laughs> I, when I need um, my car worked on, <laughs> I call you to bust my nuts. <laughs> He says, every girl. <laughs> that embarrassed me, I think. More than it embarrassed you. Doesn't embarrass me because I don't have it's any It's killing toys. me right now on the inside. Okay, back, back. Okay, back in character. Back in character. Kids. Annie plays the flute all day in the marching band. <laughs> she knows that when the day is done, Spink will lend a hand. Is that like band camp? It's just like... Annie went to band camp? <laughs> One time at band camp. When Annie goes to bed at night, her face is all aglow. Because Spank the Monkey's going to have a finger puppet show. <laughs> ah, that's nice. Spank. See the finger puppet? Oh, whoops. Wrong side. Is that like um, those shadow puppets, <laughs> Mr. Rogers? Yes, absolutely. We have them here on set. <laughs> I'm not no. touching that. No. <laughs> ah, as the satin curtains drop, she thinks, I'm a lucky girl. Spank opens with her favorite scene, polishing the pearl. Oh, goodness sakes. This is out of bounds! <laughs> Back never, in character. I've never Back. heard that term. Polishing the... <laughs> what does that mean, Mr. Rogers? That's the next show, kids. 
Annie dims the lights and makes sure the door is locked. Then Spank the monkey oils her flute and puts it in her box. It's good to keep your flute in your box. Yes, and oiled. Oiled is very important. Oh, this book is out of pages, so that's where the story ends. Spank will be back soon enough to help out all his friends. Spank is nice. Well, yeah, he's very nice. And everyone should have a spank. Everyone should have a spank, yes. You know, the Yikes. part about Grandpa and his <laughs> magazines, <laughs> when I was a kid, mm -hmm. My father had a stack of magazines next to his bed, but he said he only looked at them for the cartoons. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> I, I've seen some blisters. <laughs> I'm glad that we never had magazines when our kids were growing up. No, no. My uncle did, though. Did he have a stack mm -hmm. for the cartoons? Yeah, yeah. Not the pictures. Grandpa looks at pictures. <laughs> yeah, Grandpa just looks Dads at pictures. Dads look at cartoons. Grandpas, Grandpas look, look at pictures. pictures. That's it. it. That's it. We got it. Well, thanks for coming to our neighborhood today. Yes. Isn't there a name for the neighborhood? Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Okay, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Yep. That's what it is. Well, until next time. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. We love you. Hope you enjoyed story time. That was, a, that was a good story time. Peace out. Be good to each other. Be kind. Be nice. All the above. Love you. Bye. Shaka.